All right, guys, so we are at the Astro Pneumatic booth, and Chris is here, and I want to show you guys some really, really, really cool stuff. So if you are at SEMA, they're having a giveaway every hour on the hour, so make sure you come by their booth and check it out. So for years, we've all used slide hammers, and a lot of times you can't get a slide hammer in a spot where you need it, right? So these guys, they always think outside the box and they've come up with a cool tool. So this is a pneumatic slide hammer. So I'm gonna let Chris explain it to you and talk about all the features it's got. So this is the only one in the country, but it's a pneumatic slide hammer, basically what Clay said. We have an extension on it right here, but you can take it right off. And with any 5 8 thread common slide hammer attachment, now your slide hammer, instead of being three, four, five, bit, five foot long, is only about 10, 12 inches. So you get this underneath the car or where you need to get it. You have a three and a half to four pound slide hammer depending on what your air supply is. This is only on a quarter inch line so no one gets injured, but it really so shrinks down the package. With all your attachments, so your pullers, anything you want to put on there that'll screw onto a record. Yeah regular slide hammer that'll work on that. And you can kind of feather it down, you know, for smaller stuff. You can kind of dial it in. But okay. for the most part, you just want the stuff out. It's going to slide it up. So this is the only one in existence in the world. Well, we have a couple more in our factory that we prototype. So in the United States, at least, from our knowledge, there's okay. only one. So when are, when are we looking at this coming to the public? Four or five months. Cool. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to show you something else over here. That's pretty cool that these guys have got. Because we all love digital test lights, but the problem is every time you put those brass style clamps on something and you stretch the cord just a little bit, it pops off your ground or your hot in this case, whatever you want to do. So these guys, thinking outside the box, says, hey, so using a cheap clamp that's going to come off, we'll put us a set of locking pliers on there. Yeah, I mean, tail is old as time. No matter how much you spend, you're going to have a test light with a ground cable that's going to easily pull off. Step? This is basically like a using a tool everyone's already familiar with, lock this on the ground, car frame, yeah. bolt on an engine. So on this one, it's a 3 to 60 volt digital circuit tester with ground and positive light display. Awesome. So you guys have come out with some new sockets. So we have. Let's talk about those real quick. We don't have to go into a whole ton of detail yeah. because I know you guys are busy. But no, it's all good. Uh, we got a lot of different nano sockets, so our pinless universals are very popular. These are a mid-length version of them, also prototypical. This whole table is prototypes, but we like to get feedback at SEMA. Extra long length, 3 8 drive, non-skip set, 4 and 3 quarter inch long, extra deep sockets, really shallow approach angle with a knurling on the bottom. People like it. I love it. And then, so I know there's a, a tool truck brand that's very similar to these. Yeah. Let's talk about the price difference, kind of what's going on with your stuff. These are a quarter inch longer than you're, you're going to find on the tool truck. And instead of $420, they will be about $80 street price. There you go. So that's a deal. And then other prototypes just include our popular 100 tooth flex head nano ratchets that work with any of our nano sockets with the outside hex. So a lot of our nano sockets have an outside hex. They're popular. You can even find versions of them at Home Depot and stuff now, but they will all work in our wrenches. You can just plop them in, and now you have a flex head version of the socket you need to use. Very awesome. So there's a couple of tools I want to show everybody on the other side that are really, really cool. So these guys have taken the weighted sockets kind of got thought outside the box once again. Well, it wasn't me, but the, it's basically a, you take a weighted socket, you put all the weight towards the outside edge, and now you have a deep socket you can use on lug nuts. So instead of having an extra thick wall, we put a hollow drum on here with the weight on the outside, and now you can fit them into wheel wells. Ooh. And they have a more dramatic increase of torque compared to even IR power sockets or Lyle weighted sockets. And then this one would be specifically for crank bolts, on a crank bolts. So when we're talking about air hammers here, you guys 
All right, so they look like normal air hammer bits, but explain to them what you guys have done different to make these last a whole lot longer than your standard bits. Yeah, the, the problem when you make a more powerful air hammer like we did with our recent introduction of 401k is you start breaking bits, and I think everyone's been there. Uh, you need to get a job done, so you buy a bigger air hammer, and now you, you have a bit problem, they keep splitting. So our new Thor air hammer bits are made out of a new proprietary tool steel alloy. Not proprietary because we invented it, but we worked with a Japanese manufacturer to develop a tool steel that we can get four, six Rockwell points higher in hardness without splitting. So ideally you would want air hammer bits, chisels, hammers to be as hard as possible, but usually the harder you make them, the more likely they are to crack and fracture and send pieces across the shop. So these are a lot harder than our traditional air hammer bits but they're also a lot tougher because of that new tool steel alloy. So when you use them in tandem with really powerful air hammer bits, they don't blow apart on you. But they do have a warranty. If they do, just send us a picture and we'll ship you a place here. So that's something I kind of want to touch on with your company. You guys are really good about taking care of the customer. So no matter how they send you a message, it could be Instagram, yeah, yeah. Facebook, email. Yeah, people crack up. So you could send us a DM on Garage Journal. You could send us a DM on Instagram, uh, an email. Even our customer service gives out their phone numbers. People text them pictures of broken sockets. We already have your address on file. We just send it to you. Frankly, it saves us time. We get a lot of packages as it is. We make tools under a lot of other brands too, so we get a lot of a lot of mail in. Right. It saves us time. You just send us a text message, DM, like here's a picture of a broken socket. Sure. And we can identify it as being ours, then we'll just send you a replacement. And, and any of our lifetime really stuff is that, that way, guys, because I've seen them on a message on Instagram and got a yeah. replacement. So, one other thing, and I'll let you guys get back in it. Let's talk about this set here. Yeah. What's going on with this? Because this is really cool. So, this uses a what we call torque saver design. It's a 3 8 extension with a universal on the end. Don't need to explain that part. Um, but a couple cool features is it's pinless, which is nice. They're affordable. They're probably gonna be lower than anything else you're gonna see on the market comparable to them. But the Torque Saver design uses a larger shank and a larger male part of the ball swivel to deliver more torque from your impact to the fastener. So any extension is gonna lose some torque. Any universal is gonna lose some torque. You add them together and you can see 60, 70% loss to the head of the bolt from your impact. So these are gonna lose 40% less than a comparable, even pinless universal at an angle, and then 30% more torque savings when used in line. So basically, you got a 3 8 impact and you're worried it's not gonna chooch enough, this thing's gonna deliver it at an angle or straight, whatever you want. So when are these going to be available? These are available this month. Okay. This is 78354. So what's cool is, is I was talking to Chris before we started the video, and. We just finished these last week. Yeah, these so are super fresh. We've been trying to get these in time for SEMA, but yet these just showed up. Uh, it's basically half inch of the same thing I was just talking about, so it doesn't require a lot of explanation, but up to 24 millimeters so far, half inch drive. So we're currently using extensions with your half inch impact, and it's just shaking on you, not doing much. These are going to deliver 40% more. Well, Chris, thank you very much. You like bet. always, guys, check them out on their social media, Astro Tools. Astro Tools. And uh, they'll have some cool stuff because, as you see, they've got some really cool prototypes and brand new stuff for you guys to check Thanks, out. Thanks, Clay. Like always, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. Check them out for merchandise. Cool Tools and Discount Coast down here. If you're not subscribed, click that button. See ya.